very, very unfriendly. For the first time in human history, men look upon the far side of the moon with their own eyes. They're just 70 miles away. Well, it was on, a, I don't know, sixth or seventh or eighth revolution we looked up. And that's when, when we came into sunlight, we were all totally amazed by the earth rise. A beautiful sight. There was a big scramble for cameras. Everybody started snapping away. Fortunately for me, I had a color film and a long lens. Every newspaper, every print magazine, and it's been on everything, and true. It is probably one of the greatest photographs of that century, seeing the Earth as it really is. It's tiny out there, it's inconsequential. It was ironic that we had uh, come to study the moon and was really discovering the Earth. Just prior to Christmas Eve, we read uh, from the first few verses of the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. But it wasn't just Worm and Anders and Lovell, it was representative of mankind stepping away from their home planet for the first time. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. The words were so beautiful. Christmas, the moon, they were so far away. Overwhelming. Everybody cried. <laughs> and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth.